And What's going through the mind of Nick Saban? Well, they're not used to being no, behind exactly. this late in the ball game. I'll tell you that right now. But I believe that Nick Saban and his confidence that he inspires in his team and the, the fact they feel like they're prepared for any situation, they believe they're going to win this ball game. I have no doubt in my mind about that. McElroy, the quarterback, hand off. Richardson bounces off a tackle and runs past the 25 and driven back to the 27-yard line. Today, no doubt about it, they're moving better with it with uh, Richardson on the field. McElroy sets up in the pocket, throws. That ball is deflected at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. At some point in this game, Julio Jones right here is going to have to make a play. Julio, top of your screen. Third down three. He's wide open. There he is. Underneath, 30, 35. Put down a stiff arm and is wrestled down at the 37-yard line by McFadden. Six catches for 59 yards for Julio Jones. Clock runs up on seven minutes to play. 21-20 Auburn over number two ranked Alabama. McElroy, shotgun, play action pass. Sets up his feet. Oh, hit from behind. Never, never saw the Tiger coming. That's, and that's Coleman, Antonio Coleman. Sacks on the season. Second down, 15. McElroy trying to set up the screen. Ingram, the catch, gets the motor run and spins out of a tackle, still on his feet. So tough after the initial hit. McElroy, good protection. The catch, and not much, as Julio is cut down, chopped down by McFadden. It looks like it might be just enough for the first down, though, Craig. They needed five yards. Especially when you're trailing and there's five minutes left in the ball game, you'd like to make bigger yards. Alabama, only two timeouts remaining. They had to burn one early. Auburn with three remaining. As the clock now is going to become a factor as we hit the five-minute mark here in the fourth. Well, I think uh, uh, Alabama's mentality right now is this is the drive. They're not in any hurry to score right now. They're, 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 they're showing that they have not been willing to take a shot up the field. There's four minutes and 45 seconds left in this game. They know they only need a field goal to win. And Tiffin is very aware. He's two or three this afternoon. Eighth play of this drive coming up. Richardson alongside McElroy. Four and a half on the clock. Second down eight. Low snap. McElroy pressured. Throws. Caught. Julio Jones reaches past the 40 to the 39-yard line. Four minutes to play. Pitch. Richardson. And fucked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. That's a lot of catches for Julio Jones, but they've been able to keep him underneath. Play clock to six. McElroy sets up and throws. Jones makes that catch, spins out of the tackle to the 28-yard line, and got the first down by about a half a yard. So they're going to move the chains again. You've got to do something special here. Somebody's got to step up and make a play because it's getting threateningly close, and they're going to a pressure defense right here. They bring it all to the line. They zero in on Ingram. He's stacked up, and no gain at the 27. Alabama's almost in field goal range right now. They're not worried about the clock anymore. Well, Auburn's got three to use, and the clock is coming up on two minutes. McElroy dumps oh, it off. Boy. Richardson room at the 20, at the 15. Chopped down to the 12-yard line, and what a hit by Darren Bates. Boy, but what a run by Richardson in the open field. Well, it was a perfect call for the perfect time. You're going to see a brilliantly executed screen pass right there. Nobody on the outside. Trent Richardson makes a, makes a play, a big play out of that. I think you and I could have got at least three quarters of those yards. I don't know what they're waiting for. Now, this could be a championship drive guided by McElroy. An undefeated season at stake as they pop it up the gut. Richardson is pulled down by the shirt at the seven. Duncan down seven. Jones in motion. They're going to stay on the ground. Past the five-yard line goes Richardson. And the clock is going to stop. Another timeout used by Auburn. Coaches zeroing in on the final 129. Auburn has to hold him to a field goal. They got the big fella in the backfield. They're going to play action on the rollout. McElroy, touchdown of church!
Bama will go for two. Bama will go for two, no doubt about it. What a great play call and a great execution job by Upchurch, McElroy. And when I said Auburn has to hold him to a field goal, I'm saying you don't want your team to have to score a touchdown at the end of the game. Obviously, Auburn's going to have a chance to tie or win this ball game. But right there, a great play. And many years ago, we'll see what happens. Three lined up, bottom of your screen. Going for the home run ball. Todd goes deep. Jump ball. Incomplete. And Alabama stays undefeated. Alabama's first win at Auburn since 2001 and a jump ball and look at that that's like a volleyball kill yeah you know not to put any blame at all on that last play because you don't know what's going to happen i would have liked chris todd to give his receivers a little more time to get up the field didn't happen for steve burline craig bowler jack we say so long from auburn where our final score alabama 26 auburn 20